Hey guys, it's me again, Jen, and welcome back to my channel. And yes, for today's vlog, it's all about our trip here in Vietnam, wherein we are going to share our travel itinerary and at the same time, our expenses. Now, for the requirements here in Vietnam, guys, the only thing that you have to secure is your passport, and now you are ready to fly and explore Vietnam. We are here specifically in Hanoi, Vietnam. We landed at around 7.40 a.m. The moment we landed, unang ginawa namin ni Bart is kinumpere namin yung palitan ng peso to Vietnamese dong. And we realized na mas maganda yung palitan kapag withdraw ka sa ATM. Kasi kapag sa Pinas, yung 5,800 pesos namin, nakuha namin is 2 million Vietnamese dong. Pero, nung nag-withdraw kami sa ATM, yung 4,800 namin, nakuha namin is 2 million Vietnamese dong. So, nalugi kami ng 1,000 pesos nung nagpapalit kami sa Pinas. Right after namin nagpapalit, is bumili kami ng SIM ni Bards. And for the SIM, we paid 700,000 Vietnamese dong, or it's equivalent to 1,600 pesos. Dalawang SIM na siya, unlimited data for 8 days. Now, for the airport transfer, transfer from Noi by International Airport to the Old Quarter kasi dito kami nagsistay sa Old Quarter ni Bards. We booked it through Klop and for that airport transfer, we paid 729 pesos. Travel time from the airport to the Old Quarter is almost an hour. Sulit na siya yung 729 pesos mo and for me, it's very convenient kasi by the time na lalabas ka na ng arrival ho, hindi mo na kailangan mga problema na maghanap ng taxi or magbook ng grab kasi naghihintay na yung driver sa'yo. And for our airport transfer, dun up na kami dito sa hotel namin where we are staying. So currently, we are staying here in Singita Classy Hotel. So far, location-wise, it's really great kasi accessible siya sa lahat. And then some of the tourist attractions, walking distance lang siya. And for our accommodation, we paid 2 million plus in Vietnamese song. So in peso, it's around 4,730 pesos good for 3 nights na siya. So we arrived sa hotel around 9.30 a.m. Standard check-in time is 2 p.m. Kaya naman, iniwan na lang namin ni Bards yung mga bagahe namin and then we explored old quarter. So, kanina is, pumunta kami sa Cafe Giang. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Yan yung recommendation ng hotel staff, guys. Kasi, according to them, that's the oldest cafe shop dito sa Vietnam. At sila yung naka-discover no egg coffee. Just a heads up, drinks lang yung ino-offer nila. Wala silang food. Kaya, medyo pangit yung pagpunta namin dun. Kasi, wala pa kaming kain. Tapos, coffee agad. So, nag-acid talaga ako. Right after we try the egg coffee, is nag-explore kami ni Bart. Tapos, may nakita siyang cafe and restaurant. Ang name nun is Ban. Kong. Maganda siya. Very aesthetic. Right after namin kumain ni Bards, is na-redeem na namin yung puppet show ticket namin, guys, na papanoorin namin later on at around 6.30pm. And for this, we booked it through Klook. We paid 563 pesos per person. So, that's a total of 1,126 pesos. Kung saan kami kumain, walking distance lang to, guys. As in, nalalakad mo lang talaga dito sa old quarter. That's why na-amaze ako. Here's the bathroom area. Hello! This is our bed, king size. Sobrang laki. Here's our closet. Ditong area na to is like the vanity area. And then we have a balcony. It's giving like parang Paris vibes. Pero... Uh, ito yung view niya. Tapos merong ano dun, sinampal. And in fairness, yung weather dito sa Vietnam, paras ko siya, malamig. Yung aircon weather, para siyang baggy weather, guys. Si Rance Bernard, relax na relax siya. Before kami pumunta sa puppet show ni Bart's, nag-coffee date ulit kami. Dito lang sa labas ng hotel, guys. Sobrang lapit lang nito. This one is parang milk tea siya. Masarap. Ito naman, it's coconut coffee. So yung experience nito guys, nagkakape ka. Yung mga dumadaan, pinagsichismusan nyo. Nandun na sana kami sa puppet show. Unfortunately, naiwan ko yung ticket. So babalik na naman kami sa hotel. Kumasakay kami nito yung parang tuktok nila. In fairness, masaya siya. <laughs> Malamig. Presto mo. No? <laughs> Malamig. We made it. Masa kami mo 
panood ng puppet show, guys. I don't know if mababaw lang yung kaligayahan ko, pero natuwa naman ako. But there are parts na parang inaantok na talaga ako kasi hindi ko maintindihan. Kasi naka-Vietnamese siya. Nakakaliw naman. First time ko manood ng puppet show. First time namin both manood ng puppet show. So that's why we enjoyed it. It's something different. And now it's time to eat dinner. So we ordered Vietnamese fried spring rolls. So ikaw na mag-a-arrange the arrangement, guys. And this is the sauce. And we also have soy milk. Again, our view. Enjoy talaga namin ganitong setup mo. Second day here in Hanoi, Vietnam, guys. And for today, we booked a motorbike tour dito sa Hanoi. And may kasama na siyang Audi rental. So that's the Vietnamese traditional dress. At ngayon is magpapalit kami ni Barts. And here are the options. So this is for female, this is for male. And here is our outfit, guys. Now we are ready. First stop namin is the Hanoi Cathedral, guys. I forgot to mention pala kanina, we booked this through Look, guys, and we paid around 3,600 pesos. This is our second destination. This is a newspaper building and famous to siya kasi, as you can see, very Instagrammable spot. We will just take photos here. Next stop is Vietnam Opera House. We are now here sa Pagoda guys and just a fun fact, the reason why ito lang may side ng door yung open it's because that is for common people. Well here it's intended for the spirits now so that's why it's always closed. So they have walls here illustrating the law of karma because that's the paniniwala nila sa karma. We have an example here. Cost, being industrious in childhood to effect brings plenty of job opportunities when you grow up. Another example, pretending to become a monk or nun to destroy the Buddhism. So magiging effect niya brings rebirth as poisonous snakes in the next life. Kung ayaw mo maging aha sa next life mo, wag na wag mong gawin to. This is their sacred tree guys and according to our guide, dito daw na discover ni Buddha yung enlightenment. And kapag iikot ka dyan three times, it will bring luck. So, Vards, gawin na natin. Go! Yes. So, ito palang tree na to. Galing pa yan siya India. From the roots, yung original tree kung saan na-discover ni Buddha yung enlightenment. Right now, we are here sa Pandin Kung Street, guys. Very famous because of the artwork. Pati electric box, pininturahan din. Sobrang ganda. This is our last stop, guys. This is the famous train track here in Hanoi, Vietnam. May mga cafe sa gilid ng train track, guys. So, iinom kami ng coffee. Tapos at 11.30 a.m., may dadaang train. Naalis na nila yung table kasi darating yung train. Dapat pa side yung upo namin kasi paparating na daw yung train. dito sa isang restaurant na nag-offer ng boncha, guys. The famous Vietnamese na dish. Paano kainin? Paano kainin? Ito, noodles. Uh -oh. Hindi ko alam kung noodles ba. Ilagay mo lang dito. Ah, okay. Ilagay sa soup. Tapos, kung gusto mong gulay, ilagay mo gulay. Tapos meron pang sili dito and garlic. How was it? Masarap. Barbecue. Namin siya. Nom nom. Ako din kain ako. Bumalik lang kami ni Bart sa hotel to freshen up guys and for me, sobrang sulit ng private motorbike. Madami kayo mapupuntahan and at the same time, we've learned a lot of things about Vietnamese culture. Very insightful yung tour guides namin. They're very knowledgeable about Vietnamese culture. They speak English well. At the same time, like there's no communication barrier at all. Yung tour guide ko din, sobrang dami niyang alam about Filipino culture. So I really had a great time. So for the tour, it's 4 
four hours, guys. So from morning up until like 12 noon. So next, we're going to go to the Sky Lotte Observation Deck. We are now here in Hanoi Sky Lotte Observation Deck, guys. We grab the map up here because it's a little far from our hotel. But it's just the price we paid for the grab. For this activity, we paid for the clock. We paid 966 pesos pala for this activity, guys. Para sa aming dalawa na yung reward. <laughs> So this is Hanoi, everyone. Say hi, Bard, sa vlog. Hi, vlog. Welcome to Hanoi. Yung mga motor para lang silang mga ants. here in Hanoi guys and our last day as well because later tonight pupunta kami ng Sapa, Vietnam. For today is nag explore explore na lang kami dito sa Hanoi. Vietnam and we book a sleeper bus by a clock and then we are here at the pick up point. This is the pick up point, La Mensa Cafe. Bus! From Hanoi, we took the last trip sleeper bus going to Sapa and booked two private cabins through Klo. Ito yung itsura niya, very spacious. Actually, cash siya dalawang tao dito. For this, we paid 1,720 pesos para sa aming dalawa na unibarn. Walang CR sa loob ng bus, pero may dalawang stopovers naman. There's water, blanket, and USB charging port in each cabin, and travel time from Hanoi to Sapa is 6 hours. And from sleeper bus drop-off terminal, nag-taxi kami papunta sa hotel namin ni Bards, and we arrive at around 4 a.m. Finally, we're here in Sapa na guys. We arrive at around 4 a.m. earlier and we're staying in Eden Boutique Hotel. We underestimate namin yung weather. Akala namin kaya lang ng ganito. We need another layer sa damit namin. Maghahanap siguro kami ng pang-inner before we will start our tour today. Shopping pa nga kami wala sa oras kasi akala namin hindi malamig. Ayan, naka-turtleneck na si Bart. Ako din, naka-turtleneck na din ako guys. We're back sa hotel and let me just give you a quick room tour. So this is Eden Boutique Hotel. May pa bathtub yung room namin. The shower area. It's very spacious. Here is our bed. Very spacious, diba? And this is our view. Yan na yung mismong town ng Sapa. Sobrang lapit lang. And for the price, we paid around $88 for three nights. So, hindi siya masyadong mahal. Pick up na kami ng tour guide namin, guys, for our tour today. And may kasama kami ibang tourists. Doon kami pupunta, guys. That's the Cloud Dragon Skywalk. May shuttle service papunta doon. And then from shuttle is may elevator pa para makapunta kami sa tuktok na yun. is glass bridge siya. This is the famous rainbow stairs. Ah, grabe. Ang ganda dito, guys. Sobrang ganda. Ang lamig. What can you see? Para lang ako nasa Baguio, pero mas malamig. There's the glass bridge, guys. Ah, and here's the view. Hindi mo alam mong safe naman, pero natatakot ka pa rin. Hindi na makita yung glass bridge kasi napalibutan na kami ng fog. Wala na ako nga yung araw. Zero visibility na talaga dito. Doon kami galing. Imagine kung gaano siya kataas. Ay, naku. Ang ganda dito. Sobrang ganda dito. This is our next destination. Tingnan nyo yung railings. Binutasan na. Next 
next stop is the Silver Waterfall. Nakakahingal po, ano? Grabe. Parents, namusta ka dyan. Ay, ang ganda nito in person. Pero, nakakahingal siya. Hindi siya biro. Bobard, tingnan nyo naman. Hindi po natatapos yung stairs. Yay, andito na kami. And that's the waterfalls. Grabe yung hingal ko. Di ba ko na puso ka bug 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 bug. Same, same. We've reached the middle park. And that's the waterfall! Yay! Hawakan ko nga yung water. Tingnan ko nga kung malamig ba talaga. Ah, lamig nga, Bard. The best way to end the tour is mag-hot pot. Perfect sa malamig na panahon. First time ko mag-dry ng salmon hot pot. Ang sarap, guys. Ang fresh ng isda kasi. Pinigyan nila kami ng passion for clean honey. Today's our second day here in Sapa and for today's itinerary guys, pupunta kami ng Pansipan Mountain. So this is the highest mountain in Indo-Chinese Peninsula. By the way guys, we booked this activity through Klo. Going to the mountain, sasakay kami ng monorail and cable car. Yung itsura ng train, para siyang train papuntang Hogwarts. Ay, grabe yung lakaran. Hindi ko in-expect. Just a fun fact, this is actually the longest non-stop free rope cable car. Nandito na kami and yung kalaban na naman namin stairs. Sobrang ganda. Hindi nabibigyan ng justice ng camera ko yung ganda ng view. Sobrang lamig dito. We are above the clouds. We bought a monorail ticket guys kasi hindi namin kaya mag stairs. We're taking the cable car. 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 <laughs> Naglakad-lakad lang kami dito sa Sapa Town Tapos nakita namin yung Burnham Park Charot! This is Sapa Lake Ang ganda Ang sarap magtambay dito ba? Uy, sa angle na to para talagang sa Switzerland Ay, eto para ding nasa Europe Ang galing, ang ganda Welcome to Switzerland, guys <laughs> Finally, nasa Europe na tayo, Bars Sana true Dilulu <laughs> Sarap maglakad-lakad dito. Third day here in Sapa, Vietnam. And for today's itinerary is mag-hike kami sa Kat Kat Village. For this activity, binuklan din namin to sa Klo. Our guide picked us up sa hotel. But it's we part to outside the village. That's what we learn from local people is Hermong people. But normally in the road, we part to inside the village. We are now officially starting the hike, guys. And kanina, brinif kami ng guide namin. Sobrang dami namin natutunan about Sapa culture. So basically, dito sa Sapa, merong iba dito ng klaseng tribes. And in order for you to distinguish which tribe yun, is through the colors of their jackets. Alam niyo ba, kinakasal yung mga tao dito at around 14 years old. Tapos natutunan ko nun kanina, by the time they get married, the woman does all the work. Mas nagtatrabaho yung babae dito. Lipat tayo dito, B. Uy! Boko ka! Yung mga lalaki, nagsistay at home lang. Tapos, uso din kidnapping dito. Kasi sabi nila, kapag yung lalaki daw, nagustuhan niya yung babae, kinikidnap, tapos kinakasal. Uy! Tapos sabi niya kanina, nangyari sa kanya yun. Parang kinidnap lang siya, tapos kasal. Sa pagkakaintindi namin kanina, parang two days lang sila magkakilala, kinidnap na siya. Kasal na sila. Anong sabi mo kanina, Barnes? Okay pa ito pababa. Yung packet, yung problema natin. May bumili ng cup na wala sa oras. Kasi sobrang ilip. Mamasang pa yung budget. Okay, here is your money. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome to Cat Cat Village. Cat Cat Village. <laughs> So, ayun po yung mga rice terrace natin. Okay. Mang Doming, doon nakatira. Uh -huh. Ito may bahay na doon. Okay, okay. Si Aling Bebang, doon sa katabi niya. Okay. And then, doon sa tukpuk na yun, ako pa lang yung tumitira doon. Oh. Unggoy yan. <laughs> Pabalik na kami sa Sapa Town. <laughs> Hinihingal na kami. So magtutok-tok na lang kami guys. Struggle yung pakya. Bye guys! <laughs> After our Cut Cut Village High, kakain na kami. This is included sa package guys. At may kasama ka pala kami mga Pinoy. So we have Christine and Ella. And you know what guys? Kruto sa Sagpak. Uh... <laughs> so kakain na kami. Lumipat pala kami ng hotel ni Bards. Currently we are here at Sapa Via Trekking. We will stay here overnight. Bakit overnight lang? Kasi mahal dito. Almost 5,000 per night siya. We wanna stay here kahit isang gabi lang. It's because may maganda siyang view. We want to experience it. So that's why we transferred here and we will stay here overnight. Finally checked in guys. And ito yung rason kung bakit gusto namin magstay dito. Kahit overnight lang. It's because of this view. Ayan. So that's a train track. So may mga oras na dadaan yung train dyan. Red train. Yung sinakyan namin papuntang fancy pan. And then... Chiring! That's the ano, shower area and the toilet. Kitang kita. So this is the bed. So kitang kita doon. Pero pwede naman siyang... Yeah, ano yung curtain para may privacy. Grabe! And then may pa bathtub din sila. Look at, ano ginagawa mo dyan, uy? Ba't mo pinakunod mo nito? So, eto. Tapos may view ka din outside. Kapag i-ano natin yung curtain, may view ka din outside. Habang nasa bathtub ko. Wah! So, tomorrow, dito lang talaga kami. Susulitin namin tong room namin. So, yeah. That's it. Again, this is via trekking sa A. Ano yung train? Oh, di ko na abutan. Kunti na lang. We spotted another train. Train spotting lang kami dito, guys. Ito talaga yung rason kung bakit binook namin to. Right, Bards? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today is day 4 here in Sapa and wala kaming itinerary for today. Magsistay lang kami sa hotel para masulit namin yung bayan. And mag-aabang lang kami ng train and we'll take photos for TikTok and IG. Yun naman talaga yung rason kung bakit kami nag-check-in dito overnight. Nag-setup na din kami. Diba? Ang ganda! Ang ganda, Bards. Grabe. Tapos, we're waiting for a train to pass by before we will take photos. Dito ko dapat. Ano? Ano? Buhay! Naka din, naka bathrobe. Tiring! Imagine waking up with this view. And coffee. Tiring! <laughs> Props pa namin yan. Hindi siya pwede inumin. All for the ground! For the train! Hindi ba loo ito yun eh. Ayan na!
dun sa airport na kami ni Bards, guys. Actually, it took me like a week before I shoot the outro of this vlog. Kasi nakalimutan ko talaga. So basically, right after nag-train spotting kami dun sa hotel namin sa Viet Trekking Sapa, at 4pm, sumakay na kami ng sleeper bus pabalik ng Hanoi. But here are the things na personal notes siya about our travel sa Hanoi and sa Sapa. Unang napansin ko talaga, yung mga tao sa Hanoi and saka sa Sapa, they're very friendly and accommodating. In terms of the navigation, we just use Google Maps, guys. Ito, if sa Hanoi kayo, as much as possible, mag-grab kayo. Huwag kayo mag-taxi. Kasi nadaya kami ng taxi sa Hanoi. Nabudol kami. Nabudol kami. So, mag-grab na lang kayo. If gusto nyo pumunta ng malalayong places, we suggest mag-grab kayo. Huwag kayo mag-taxi. Lahat ng mga activities namin sa Hanoi at sa Sapa, guys, ilalagay ko lang siya sa description box. So, just feel free to check that out. And also, when you book, don't forget to use our codes. That's GenB5 off and RNC5 off. Ayun mo dito, RNC5 off. To get discount. And if you wanted to try the tuk-tuk sa Hanoi, sa Hanoi ito, guys, ha? Okay, yung payment niya is mga 100,000 Vietnamese dong for one hour. Per hour yung bayad. Hindi siya sa distance. So, parang ito tour around kanya for one hour. 100,000 Vietnamese dong siya. I think this is the most awaited part kung magkano lahat ng nagastos namin ni Bards for the Hanoi and Sapa na trip na to. And ilalagay ko lang. Ipa-flash ko na siya. That's our total expenses both for Hanoi and Sapa na trip. Hindi kasama yung tip dyan. Hindi kasama yung mga pampasalubong. Hindi ko na din sinama yung food and other transportation kasi mura lang naman talaga siya sa hit. So that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I hope to see you or we hope to see you on our next travel. Bye!